what's going on guys i'm sure you are doing well and i will pray for your good health so that you can learn things easily on this channel called bitfumes and with me sarthak and in this episode we are going to learn about the pages in laravel desk what it is and why we need it simply pages is just a system where you can have some assertions some test related things for a particular page if you are not getting this let me show you this thing so you can see i have a login test and obviously it will test for the login so here we have just a simple assertion that visit the base url then assert that the laravel is here this means yeah we are on the correct base url then click on the login button then assert that the route is login then fill these two things that means email and the password press the login button and assert that login is successful and we are or the user are redirected to the home page so you can see to just make a login we need to do all of these things so how the pages will help in this kind of test so let me show you this browser directory inside that we have a pages directory and we have just a home page for the demo so you can see this home page extends page which is actually this page okay that's not a problem so let's create our own page which is i will call it login page so php desk and i will get the help okay so i think we need to say php artisan and we have desk related commands which is yeah here so desk page to create a new page so php artisan desk colon page and the page name is login page hit enter page is created and yes we have this and again this is extending base page this is okay so on this login page you can see you will get three functions one is url second is assert and third is elements so first thing first url so in this url function you will just going to return whatever is the url of the pages you are going to connect with this so we are going to have all the functionality related to login page in this particular page so that our this code will become shorter or easier so how we can assert that it's a login page so url is login that's okay and yeah in the assert part it just asserting that okay when we go on this page that means when we are using this login page then we assert that the url is login so this is good but how we can use it here so you can see we are clicking on the login link from the welcome page then we are asserting that we have this route is login okay instead of this what we can say simply visit and then actually the arrow visit and then new login page okay and we have to import it at the top which is here and in that case we have we don't have to go through all these things and now our code is become somewhat shorter okay so let's run it and see whether this is going to work or not and yes surely it will going to work and you can see one test but two assertions but here you can see we have only one assertion so where this another assertion came from this one so actually on this login page you can see we have assert path is and that the url so that's why we have this uh, two assertions so we have talked about url we have talked about assert we have not talked about element so how this element function will help us in creating these tests easier 
so you can see we are using just this simple thing which is hash email so instead of using hash email we can cut that from here and we can just give all of these elements we are going to use here so you can see i'm connecting hash email to at email or simply e or you can say, say that it is an email okay it doesn't matter similarly if i cut from here and create password to only pass and like that so that has to be hash so now here i just have to say at email and here at pass we don't have to give all the exact id or all the exact thing to connect it because we have created an alias or short name for our element so we don't have to provide hash password we just say visit login page value at email is this value at password is this so again if we go and run it it will going to work because everything is now connected to login page and this is very handy when you have this kind of notation where input is like name is equal to password if you are using this kind of notation then it is very handy to use just at pass instead of all long this kind of name so let's again run it and yeah it will going to pass because yes the password field has the name of password so in that way our login page is very useful but still you can see to create a simple login we are using four line of test why not use this login page and create a new function so i will create a public function and i will call it sign up or sign in actually not sign up and here what i am going to do i am going to do all these things so let's just paste this and here we need we don't need actually a visit because visit is obviously on the main test so what we need we need the browser so let's import the browser at this and obviously that has to be imported at the top also so we have the browser and then we will say browser and dollar browser and value is this email and secret is the password so why not make this somewhat dynamic so i will simply say email and i will accept that email here and let's close this line so here we will say browser visit new uh, login page that's okay then after visiting login page we just have to say sign in so you can see all the logic related to signing in we have moved in this function called sign in so now we just need to pass our email which is user arrow email and let's run this and again this is going to pass but what if i just remove anything and try to run the test you can see it fails and one thing more we just have to check this also so if i remove that password alias from here and yeah you can see we are using that at pass here so run it it now fails go back undo that and run the test it's now passing so you can see by using this pages function with the laravel disk we have reduced our code and obviously we don't have to write all of these things every time we just want to log in any user so we just use this sign in function
visit login sign in user email and everything is done so it's super easy and very handy and very 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 useful when you are asserting lots of things you can just put all these things all your logic here you can create any number of functions here so last thing related to this pages is that you can see this uh, where is that yeah <laughs> login page is actually extending this base page but we also have a page.php file which is also extending base page so instead of extending this base page we can extend the page which is here page.php by doing this what we can do inside this page.php we can define anything which is globally to every uh, pages it's because login page is extending page home page is extending page so this means whatever we define in the page will inherited by all other pages so let's define that pass here so i will say password so because we have defined that at pass global element shortcut in this page.php we can just use that particular shortcut here and we don't have to define it here so let's let's just comment this and try to run the test so run the test yeah it fails because we don't have at pass shortcut so now define that particular shortcut here inside page.php and run the test once more and yes you can see it passes because that particular at pass is defined here not here so that's not a problem because it's just for your demonstration purpose but you don't have to define here the logics or here shortcut which is just for one page only so because it says it is a site element so just define the element which is common to every pages so like you have some links on the header you have some links on the footer or sidebar maybe is on every pages so then then you can define that things here also so this is all about pages and if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin wherever you want and share these video with your friends so that everyone can learn the best thing about laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye